stop doing more stuff. And make a beat. <sighs> Just water back. Do you want more pasta? Just good pasta yum, and yum. really good olive oil with salt and pepper. Mm. Oh no! Yeah. No, here let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Got that one. You should use your fork your, or your hands. We should show everybody the oil that we have. Just to point out what a difference good olive oil makes. Is the pasta really good? Is it yummy? Oh. Yes, there is also the phone over there. Yeah. Here's the olive oil that we put on. We put Montemolino olive oil on it. Yeah. It's a bird. It's a bird holding an olive in its in its mouth. That's part of why this pasta is so darn good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if my head is even in the shot. I don't care if it is. I don't matter. What do I matter? I don't matter anything here. What matters is this wine, this Roero Nebbi Nebbiolo. Uh, this is 100% Nebbiolo, baby. Now it's from the Roero, which is next door to the Longue. Um, and, uh, but generally sandier soil, it's across the Roero River. This is a like four acre vineyard um exclusively nebbiolo like i said approximately i think 50 year old vines 50 year old vines uh farmed organically farmed naturally hand harvested fermented with wild yeast um i don't know if it's fined or filtered it doesn't say it actually doesn't say anything useful on it and i'm i think that this winery you know, I might be wrong. This might actually be like a two hectare property. And this wine in particular comes from a two acre plot. So like half of the vineyards. Half. Anyway, half. Yeah, very small production wine. Do you want to smell this, Nebbiola? You don't? All you care about is the pasta right now. Here, Paso Año Tarla. Echo. There. No, I don't want the fork in my wine. Man, this is fantastic with the lamb sausages and pasta that I'm eating right now. This is the 2016 vintage, which was a more like classic. It was a very good vintage, but it was a more classic vintage. It wasn't as hot as like 2015 or 2017. This is still 14 and a half percent alcohol. It doesn't really taste like it, but it is big. It is a big, powerful Nebbiolo. It's more powerful than other vintages that I've had from Giuseppe Perusa. Um, I don't even know if it's in the shop, but I'm going to just put it over here right now. Maybe it's in the shop. Hopefully the baby doesn't get it. Oh. It is perfumey. That's you. You're the baby. Right. Oh, right. I was saying hopefully you don't get it. <laughs> it smells floral. It does kind of smell like roses to me. Does that smell fun? Yeah. See? Look, the baby even thinks that this smells fun. But yeah, definitely flowery. Aromatic, like perfumey. <sighs> raspberry. Raspberry strawberry. <laughs> right now, to me, it doesn't smell that much like cherries. Do you think this smells like cherries? You do. Do you think it smells like raspberries? No. Okay. It does not smell like raspberries. Yeah. It's delicious on the palate. It's ripe, but it's very... Oh, you want to move it further away? Yeah. Okay. There. We'll move it out of the shot for right now. Yeah. It's rich, but it's um very uh, balanced... It's not aggressively tannic at all, which is awesome. But the, tann the tannins are like right there, sort of like where you want them doing their thing. It has a saltiness that I really like. Oh, 
There's also something in the aroma that smells like Piedmont. That smells like the damp autumn. It almost smells like damp leaves in a tiny, a tiny bit, in a tiny way. Mm. In a really nice way. The fruit on the palate is much more savory than the aroma would have led you to believe from what we were talking about, the fruit and the flowers and stuff, how it's really perfuming and floral. On the palate, it's definitely more savory, meaty, but it's not like a big, rustic thing. It's very, it's a very elegant, um, like, organized wine. It's really, it's probably the best value for Nebbiolo I think that I've ever ever had in my life particularly like how this is drinking right now this bottle this vintage um oh. mm. it is changing a little bit I just opened it so it is evolving as it's been open man yeah the tannins are like there but they're really like you don't even notice them because the fruit is so ripe, beautiful. There's the salt that makes it savory and it's got like just the right amount of acidity. So it's like bright and fresh. Um, and then the tannins are there and they do exactly what you want, but they're not really like dry or aggressive. So here, uh, this 2016 Giuseppe Peruso Roero is really fantastic. And this is like about $20. If you look, maybe under $20. Yeah. 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 It's a steal. Um, gosh, I really need to make more people drink this because it's so good. It's just like a service to the world. So, um, yeah, there's our video. All right. All right. 